Hello, and thank you for choosing Revive Node. Today, we'll be taking a look at how to connect your domain to our panel through Cloudflare. For this example, I'm going to be connecting through Namecheap over to Cloudflare and then through our panel. I will also be explaining at the end how to enable SSL through Cloudflare as you won't be able to do it directly on our panel due to limitations of your name servers. To get started, make sure you have a domain already. And again, I'll be using Namecheap for this example. First, head over to Namecheap, go into your domain list and then click manage on the domain you want to connect. Next up, you go into Namecheap basic DNS and then you'll alter it for custom DNS. Here, we're going to fill out the correct information that we need. And to get that information, we'll head over to Cloudflare. Once you create an account, you can click add site and here you put in the site name. I'll put in revivehost.net as that is the example site we are using. We can click add. A couple plan options will appear. You can go ahead and select the free option down at the bottom and then click continue. You can scroll down, click continue again. And as you can see here, we need to add these over into our DNS. I'll copy the first one and the second one, and then I can just click save. Now it's been added to our domain provider directly. Your page could look different if you're using Google or GoDaddy or anything between, but this is the process you need to actually change it. Now we can head back into Cloudflare and as you can see at the bottom, registrations can take up to 24 hours to process name server checks. It may not be immediate in your region. If you allow it up to 24 hours maximum, it will show up. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and just click on my host. And here, as you can already see, it is already connected and protected by Cloudflare. Next thing I want to do is actually go into DNS. And here's where we're going to add all the proper records we need to ensure that we're fully connected. First off, we're going to click on add record and we're going to create a C name. And for the name, we're going to use our website's domain. So in my case, I'm going to use revivehost.net and whatever your domain is, you will be replacing this. And for the target, we're going to do web1.revivenode.com. And always make sure that you keep the cloud or the proxy enabled. You can go ahead and click save. And that was our first record. Now we need to add our second one, which is also going to be a C name. So we can go ahead and click add record, type C name. And here we're going to put in www. And for the target, we're just going to put at. You can have the proxy on as well. Click save. And we've added our second one. Next up, we're going to add a, another record type. And we're going to have to scroll down to MX. And here we're going to type for the name at. And for the mail server, we're going to use web1.revivenode.com. For the priority, we're going to go ahead and set it to five and then click save. The next record is going to be a TXT. So we're going to have to scroll down all the way to TXT. And here we're going to type in the name again. And this one's going to be at. And for the content, we're going to type in the following V equals SPF1 space a space mx space question mark all again all these i'm going to leave in the description down below so you don't need to go for the tedious task of writing them all you can also go into our wiki page where it can be found as well we're going to click save and now if you want to create a subdomain for example store.yourdomain.com you will need to create a record for each subdomain you create as you will have to do it both on our panel and in cloudflare at the same time so for this i'm going to create an example so i'm going to add a record and it's going to have to be a C name. And I'm going to do store. And for the target, we're going to do at. And then we can go ahead and make sure it's proxied and click save. So our subdomain is store.revivehost.net. And the next thing we have to do is go into our direct panel, click on subdomain management and add subdomain and type in store. Add subdomain. And that is all we need to do to ensure that this subdomain can be seen through Cloudflare. And as promised, I did say I was going to explain how to enable SSL for your domain. To do that, you need to go into SSL TLS and then click on overview and make sure you have full enabled. And that's all you need to have SSL on your actual domain. And there you have it. That's the whole process of connecting your domain to Cloudflare and to our panel at the same time. There are some benefits such as Cloudflare's DDoS protection as well. So if you like this video, please let us know in the comment section. If you'd like to see any other type of tutorial, please let us know. And we hope you have an amazing day. And thank you for choosing Revive Node.